Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am here to do a very serious video. We're gonna talk about a lot of things in this video, but I wanted to start the video off with a light subject of some happy mail. Um, I wanted to disclose something first and foremost. Um, I know that some of you guys have seen me open happy mail from a few people. Um, these are people that kind of live in my region. They know um, whereabouts that I live. Um, I am not really comfortable giving out my personal address to everybody. Um, so I am working on getting a P.O. box, but right now I just have other things I need to really be working on. So if you hear a wanting dog in this video, it's because she's in timeout, by the way. Uh, garbage Snarf, <laughs> also known as Violet, has gotten into some things and she needs a timeout from that particular area. So she might be a little whiny. I apologize about that. But if you're new to my channel, Welcome. My name is Amanda. I am 34 years old. I live in Oregon. I'm an all-cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. We are a budgeting-based channel where we do mostly budgeting things. So most of this channel is about budgeting, finance. I do a few different types of videos every now and again, one being that grocery haul that you saw. I know it's not the most popular thing to watch on a budgeting channel, but we spend money, right? That's part of budgeting. We have bills. We have to go to the grocery store. We have household expenses. And I like talking to people about the things that work for me, so maybe it'll work for them too. I am not a professional. So asking me what my personal opinion is would be fine, but... I'm not a professional. I don't do finances for a living. I just make budgeting items, fun savings challenges, and I do what works for me. So let's get into this. So you're probably wondering why this beauty is out. I'm excited to get this started. Um, we have this as well. Remember what I said, and I'm going to hold myself accountable that I owe myself a little something in here to do with every single video that I have this binder out. So we'll do that at the end, but let's talk about this happy mail. So I got this from Miss Lady Die. I kind of sort of already started opening it and then realized, you know what? I want to share this. I want to share this um, this doesn't have my address on it. it doesn't have her P.O. box. She does have a P.O. box. P.O. boxes in my area are really expensive and or hard to find. So the reason why I haven't gotten one is because last time it cost me around 220 bucks, and I think I only had very few people send me things. It was good to have for Etsy, but I... I'm going back to the old ways of doing things. I'm going to be driving to the city to go to my favorite uh, post office box place and I never had a problem with mail there. So, Violet, would you quit being pitiful? Anyway, so we're going to go back to the old ways of doing things. I didn't have as many mail issues. Um, when that happened. However, I did want to let you guys know my mailbox here at my place um, of residence, somebody's already broken into some of them and some of them are even missing the doors. It's one of those big box things with the, the doors. Yeah, a little worrisome. So I've been trying not to have anything super duper expensive or super duper unreplaceable scent here, which makes it really hard. I'm so excited. So Mr. Jordan, he already checked this out because you know, he's nosy and he likes to look at my stuff. We'll be real. He likes to look at my stuff and he's a little bit paranoid. 
Excuse me one moment. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to let the dog free. All right. We have been set free from jail. At least Violet has. Um, when she gets into things, I have to baby gate her into our bedroom so that way she no longer gets into things. So, back to the super awesome Happy Mail. I think I opened it upside down. So, he told me that I'm going to love everything in here. <laughs> it says, Sorry, no note. Have to rush to the post office. Anything you do, do not want or use... You're free to put in a giveaway or gift to someone or throw away. No, we're not throwing anything away, Lady Die. Please, no expectations at all for return Happy Mail. I mean it. Say hi to Jordan. What else? Can't think of anything else. I guess this is technically a note. Ha ha ha. Love and blessings, neighbor. So Lady Die and I live in the Pacific Northwest. I know where she lives. She knows where I live. <laughs> Farm boy knows where I live. <laughs> All I can say is you drive through here every time you come to that shiny happy place. And if you ever want to say, hey, I'll meet you somewhere. You don't want to come, you don't want to come to my ghetto. <laughs> anyway, so I am blessed for this and no, I'm not throwing any of it away. And I'm probably not going to give any of it away because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I kid you not, you guys. I have a lot of stuff here. I am going to try to free gift inside. There we go. I don't know what's in these. This is exciting. I love mail. I'm just letting you guys know. I love mail. I'm such a weirdo that I love... Why can't I get this open? Because I'm five? Okay, there we go. Um, it happens sometimes. Sometimes I'm five. Uh-oh, low battery. Low battery. Okay, there we go. Sorry if my hand got in the way. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I only have one laminated IOU, so I'm going to use these. Because I owe you myself a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, which is okay. And they're all dogs. Oh, look at it. It's a little Sophie Ann. That's exciting. Sophie Ann is our little Chihuahua Yorkie mix. Um, just give me one second, you guys. I'm going to see if I can grab my charger. Oh, she's doing that high lady die. All right, I'm back. I have my charger in my hand. Okay. I know, I don't like to edit. I'm sorry. I hate editing. Editing hates me. We're all big fat family here. Little Barney for you. So these will definitely be used. All right. And now let's look at what else we have. Special for you. Ooh, what is it? Let's see. I, I have savored some of these stickers, by the way. Um, I did have somebody offer to send me stickers. You have no idea how much I wanted to tell you yes. But I don't want to give my address out because it's the internet. Not that I don't trust specific people or whatever. I mean, I doubt you're going to drive halfway across the universe to come to my ghetto-ass uh, little place. <laughs> These are so cute. You did not. <gasps> emotional support coffee oh my gosh I hope these I hope these fit in my mini little envelopes the boys oh my money fuel pets yard gardening oh my gosh I have new categories guys <gasps> oh these are so pretty oh my gosh lady die you are so sweet you want to know it's funny I've been making you something too <laughs> I have been making, I've been making a few of you guys some things. By the way, um, a certain little budgeter has bought a few things off of my, um, off of my shop and I shared her, uh, 
channel and stuff and I'm like wait a minute are you who I think you are and she was like yes I'm like please don't buy the next set of things I'm gonna be launching they're for you for free because I was making them after I saw her um, talk about her family I felt like we had a really close connection in a you know different kind of way I mean we're moms you know, her kids are older, but I love that she loves camping stuff. Gosh, Amanda, we can figure out how to open packages, right? Oh, this butterfly is not going to make it. That's okay. I have another butterfly over there. I'm just letting you guys know when you send me things with stickers on it, it's likely I picked it off and put it on something. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at fall. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love fall. So fall is my time of year. All the good things happen in fall and sometimes snow. Even though snow hated me this year and it messed up my roof and it messed up my Christmas. So I love those things. Fall, winter, Christmas. Winter has all the best clothes, boots, shoes, coats. I have a million coats. I love coats. But so... Here's the gist, guys. I'm going to be real. I love stickers so much. I have to tell myself, no. No, don't do it. Every time we want to go drive next to Hobby Lobby, which is an hour for me now, an hour and a half for me, I'm like, please, please, please just let me get some stickers <laughs> and then I went in there one time and I bought stickers for my planner and you guys saw it last year and I kid you not you guys I spent like probably 26 bucks on stickers and that was like the biggest splurge for me because you see what I spend I spend nothing most of the time so for me 26 bucks is like shit in the bed Look at these. These are for my winter stuff. She said she had these printed. I was going to print these, by the way. And then uh, Jordan came in with this package and he's like, please don't print anything with lots of color yet. And I'm like, okay. And he was like, I think that there's stuff in here for you. But this is so cute. I love this gingerbread one. And I love this one. And I love this. I love them all. I love them all too much. Okay, on to the next. We have an envelope with it too, which is even better. Look, I never put anything on the back. That's because I, I throw them away. <laughs> oh, spring. This is going to go in the spring stuff. Okay, so I have to be honest. Do you guys really want an organize with me video? Do you want to see my chaos? I can't wait to put that in my spring stuff. I have so many things to organize. I need to get this winter stuff on the road. Look at this winter stuff. There's two of them. There's a big one and a little one. And I'm going to probably use both. Because I love them. Look at them, you guys. Okay, I'm a snowflake person. I'm not going to lie. I love snowflakes and snowmen. I wanted to start collecting snowmen stuff for Christmas. And then I got told that I can only buy one Christmas thing a year. By certain somebody in this house because otherwise we would not have any room and it comes with an envelope too you guys look at that <gasps> there's more winter stuff she was not kidding and this is all sorts of colorful I love that I will say we do have that that alike in our blood over here uh, both of us like colorful things and thrifting and dogs and we're both ADHD and out most of the time in our videos. Like, I kid you not, like, I don't even know what I'm doing half of the time. And then I get the, the thing done and then you guys comment and I forget when the heck you're talking about sometimes. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, now I remember. I, I'm not kidding. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. Guys, this makes you want to buy stuff on Etsy. This is another cute one. And it comes with an envelope too. This is crazy. 
Man, you really took some time. I'm sorry, you guys. If you get an order from me and I don't have this cellophane stuff, it's because I can't do it. I mentally can't do it. It would drive me nuts. I can't do it. I don't know how you guys do it, but I can't. It makes me crazy just trying to do my, my orders. By the way, if you ordered from my shop, I have 28 orders, so I'm sorry if it's taking a while. I am trying my best, and... um. I, I love my husband dearly, but he needs to be taught some things to help me look at that. Roll and save. Even better, because this, this is all in my budget, you guys. That's what I like about low-income budgeters, you guys, is we all feel it. We all feel the things. What's this one? What's this one? Is this more, more of these? Oh my gosh. I got that one open. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. She even put greens in here. You know why? Because I need more greens in my life. Farm boy knows it. It helps your health. It really does, you guys. Oh my gosh. I have so many of these to... Oh my gosh. I have so many things to work on now. What's this one? Bunches of extras. If you don't want these, give them away for free. Hmm. We might do that. I don't know. Are they extras? Oh. Oh, look at that. Family fun. Oh, emergency. Family fun. Books. Savings. Oh, another savings. Look at how cute that one is. Parking. Car. Lunch. Another lunch, another lunch, and another emergency. I might give some of these away, but some of these I think I'm going to... Because I have an oh shit fund in there. I know I said that quietly, but I realized that, you know, I swore a little bit. And uh, I, have, I have kiddos here. And I already have one that swore at me the one day. So I'm trying to watch my mouth. <laughs> so these are so cute. All of these, you guys... All of it. All of the things. So, when I send Happy Meal, I am not going to be sending anything. Um, well, I'm going to be sending some things because I know there's some things she would like. Um, but I'm going to send some things that are unique for that person um, because I feel like it makes Happy Meal very special. She made those specifically for me. So, I appreciate you so much, Lady Di. You are amazing. We are, um, how does Anne from Anne of Green Gable say it? We are kindred spirits. That's it. All right. So before we get into this, actually, let's do this. We're going to get into this. This is going to be a future binder eventually. But you saw the winter challenges that I was just sent. Plus I have winter challenges in here. I'm going to be doing another 100 envelope challenge, but it's going to be much, much, much lower denominations. And I'm only going to put it in one envelope. I'm not going to be doing a million envelopes. That drove me nuts. I kid you not, you guys. I love that it got done and I'm glad I did it one time, but I am not doing it again. Don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> oh, my ADHD brain was like, wait a minute. Do we have enough envelopes? What's in the envelope? Did we put the right amount? And, and then I get messed up. So this way I can count and see what I have in here. So this is going to be the winter binder for now. But eventually I want it to be our future funds. Um, there are things that I want to work on down the line. This would be six months, two years worth of insurance. This would be getting um, certain bills covered for the year. This would mean, you know winterizing all the things um, but because this is a winter binder and honestly when I when I put this on my wish list and Diane Richards purchased this I was going to use it for my winter binder anyway but then I thought you know what I don't want too many binders but I think it's important and I think if I make something just for that my little ADHD brain will say Amanda open the shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty, shiny thing. 
to put the money in. Because <laughs> I am like that a little bit. My ADHD brain goes shiny. All right. I like shiny. So that's what we're using this for. Now, let's get into this. Because I don't want to get into the serious stuff quite yet. So remember when I told you guys anytime you see this binder, we're going to be rolling the dice to keep rolling all year for Christmas cheer. This is to help for Christmas. It does not matter if I roll $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, or $6. It does not matter. It all counts. And I'm going to do it every time I have this binder out. And I mean out, like ready, set out, ready to go. So let's get a dice, which is right here, by the way. There's our dice. And I'm starting to lose these, by the way. I had eight in here, or 12. I don't know. I got them from the game store. They're, they're not heavy. These are just acrylic, but they are... Kind of opal-like, but they're colorful. I like them. <laughs> oh my gosh, we literally only got a one? Oh well, we'll put in a dollar. We're going we're gonna to call it. I'm going to put in a dollar. One dollar is going to go in there. Oh, that's an ugly dollar. That's a really ugly dollar, you guys. I know I have my money hidden. Why am I trying to open this like it's an envelope? I should have made it into an envelope and sent it out, but I am a terrible envelope maker in my opinion. So we got a dollar going to Christmas and you know what? It's all going to add up because I'm going to keep doing it. So this goes to the side now. So let's go to the serious part of this video. <coughs> so if you have heard me talk about it, a million times and a half that I have a written plan. I have a written plan in this particular composition notebook. This composition notebook cost me a dollar twenty-five. This is our written plan. So our written plan is not gonna be in order. Because life happens, and I live in the real world, and I live in real life. Where life just keeps lifing, and I know yours does too, and that's okay. So, we got back on track into current. We're working on our, our 1K emergency fund. We have been working on it with the 100 Envelope Challenge, by the way. Um, it doesn't quite have $80 in it because I had to borrow from it. So it still, I still owed a couple of dollars um, to make it 80 but we're working on it. And that might take a while because it's $1,000. For me, $1,000 is a lot of money um, because I don't have that kind of income, you know, coming in. Um, but... The biggest thing I think we need to work on before we can pay down these small debts would be to get a month ahead. And there's going to be a really, really big reason for that. So if you know and you've heard in my videos me talk about how I have health problems I don't really talk about. Oh, it's brighter in here now because I can turn the light a little bit better. Sorry about the dimness. Um, I have underlying health conditions. I have hyperthyroid Graves disease. I have a goiter in my neck. Um, it is not as noticeable as it has been in the past. However, it is about the size of my fist. But it's more internal now than it is external um, because it has shrunk a little bit. However, it has not shrunk enough. Um, I have been on um, thyroid medication for quite some time. Now, hypothyroid is what most people get with thyroid disease where you're cold, you gain weight, um, you are lethargic, you're tired, you feel really super cruddy, you know, you can have all sorts of things. 
um, with hypothyroidism, but I have the opposite of that. So I have excessive anxiety. I get really hot and very cold. Um, I also deal with tremors. Um, I also have to be careful with the amount of iodized salt that I eat um, because um, my, your thyroid is the thing that takes care of the salts in your body. Um, I did not know all these things when getting into this disease. I just knew I became very thin, very sick, very fast. Um, I dealt with this very, very difficult journey of being homeless, but while homeless, I was very sick. And that's the key point I don't talk about because I don't want to go there. It's a negative, right? But the truth is, is we have to talk about the negatives sometimes. And for me, I've been waiting five years for an answer on what I'm going to do. Um, I take medication daily. It's not really helping, but it's not really hindering either. We're at kind of a standstill. So I'm going to be seeking out a procedure called um, a thyroid ablation. So a thyroid ablation um, is very much so where they put radioactive iodine into um, a specific part of your body. Mine would be my thyroid. And they would try to shrink it 50%. So, I'm on health insurance for the state. The reason I'm doing this is so later I don't have to worry about the hardship of the cost of this procedure or possible invasive surgery, which would be major, major surgery. Because it's surgery on your neck, where you're opening up your neck and removing a very important organ in your body. Um, if it doesn't go well, I still might have to have surgery, but I don't know. So it's really important for me to stop living in fear and start gaining some confidence in my written plan and how I want to do things. We've had so many things trip us up in this journey and I truthfully just want to take a breath. I've had a lot of help from you guys in that journey. Um, whether you've watched my channel, you've commented, you've been there for me, you've been a friend. I've got many messages from a lot of you guys who are content creators. Um, I would truly say that you guys are my friends. Um, I would have to say thank you to anyone who has ever bought from my shop, donated money to us, um, helped us along with this journey of the roof, because without you guys, we couldn't have done it. We really couldn't have done it. But now this is my time to shine. This is my time to go, okay, we need to figure out how to get a month ahead. So we're going to be working on things like my kiddo's birthday, we're going to be working on things like holidays, Christmas, and um, Easter. Easter is coming up. By the way, um, Easter is not a usual holiday for me. I put it in my holiday workbook, but that workbook was mainly for you guys. Because my main three holidays that I spend a lot of money on are going to be Christmas, birthdays, and of course, our anniversary. Those are my three main. And I do cook a meal for Thanksgiving, but even if it's not a turkey, we're still sitting around a table. We're, we're gonna still hang out, watch movies. Um, we always watch Charlie Brown stuff um, in my household, like Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and Christmas and things like that. It's been a tradition of my family's for a really long time. 
Um, I watched it every year as a kid. Um, this year we're going to watch Peter Cottontail, which by the way, I will leave in the description box if I can remember to sometime before Easter. You can watch it for free on YouTube. Um, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Um, it's kind of like The Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph. Um, what's the other one? They're kind of like, they're animation. They're animation. They're, I believe they're clay. But anyway, so Easter has kind of already been worked on. I have spent a total of $12, which is going to be in my spending um, expense tracker for this month. But I don't really think I need too much more. Um, I'm looking for two bunnies for two boys. Um, and I don't mean the chocolate kind. I mean the stuffed kind. Um, because if you remember from last year, my oldest, who's going to be 13, was like, where's my bunny? I didn't get a bunny. I'm like, well, honey, you told me you didn't want to do Easter. Yeah, well, that was then. Today's Easter. <laughs> and my kiddo, he's on the spectrum, and he, he really tries to have understanding, and he tries to give me grace, but he has expectations and his expectations can be up here and my expectation and how I could do things is down here. So he now knows he's going to be getting a bunny and candy and all the things. So he's excited and I didn't really spend that much. I mean, they're getting older. My kids are getting older. They don't need all that much. So I'm not surprised I didn't do the Easter challenge in my book. I'm really not. Just like I'm not surprised about the Valentine's Day thing. You know, when you when you don't have a lot, you appreciate the time you have with people. I spend more time and more energy on people and things we do together rather than the money that was spent. Because money is going to come and go, right? So I want to get stable. I want to get stable. I want to be a month ahead. So that way, the idea of being a month ahead would be that we're actually a month ahead. So the bills we're working on would be for the following month. Just like I do with my space rent. So, for instance, I am working on my space rent for next month. Because I've already paid this month. Um, but that would make it so much easier, you guys so much easier and if you could do it too i highly suggest it so how i'm gonna do this i have no idea i've kind of come up with a plan i was thinking about fully funding this first and then snowballing it to this and then making sure each one of these categories gets an amount no matter what so that would mean that if i fully funded the internet then I would take that $65 plus whatever I was going to put in this envelope to continue to snowball the money over. Once I snowballed that money, like let's say this was $65 and this was $10. So then if this was fully funded, $65 and $10 would be $75. And then once that $75 fully funded this and I kept adding the smaller amounts to these, then that would be fully funded, and then it would snowball onto this next one, and so on and so forth, and it will make things so much easier. I did not do the debt snowball because I was working two jobs when I was getting out of debt, and honestly, I think it would have been fun to do it that way because then I could see the snowball effect, but I didn't really snowball. I just took a chunk of my money and was like, there, take it. I don't want it anymore. Get rid of the debt. If they didn't answer the phone, I was like, okay, on to the next. Bye. I will call the next person in line and they will get the money. I had one company uh, during the pandemic say that they couldn't take my money. I'm like, how in the heck is that possible? You can't take my money right now? You crazy? You're a debt collection company. Didn't make sense to me. Anyway, so that's the plan. So things that I'm going to be working on that are specific will go to those specific spots. But if I finish a mini challenge, 
like one of these, which we're not in a race, you guys. I'm not in a race to finish all this as fast as humanly possible. I know some of you guys are, and I, I watch your channels, and I, I'll cheer you on, but I can't. It's not my budget, um, and that's okay, but I'm going to use these finished little challenges to hopefully start this snowball, if not sooner. Um, you know, anything I sell on my Etsy will go towards sinking funds and savings challenges to get some of these things funded, um, because why not? We're doing the best we can with what we've got, and that's all we have to work with. So, slowly but surely we'll get there. When is this ablation going to happen? I don't know. Um, there's a process, so I have to go to a radiology uh, clinic, I have to talk to somebody, I have to do the whole triage of things and lists, and I have to get it approved by my health insurance, which is going to take time because it's the state of Oregon, and the state of Oregon does not really, you know, have a whole lot of, you know, options, and there's a line. There's a line. I have been waiting for this, you guys, for five years. This could totally change the mapping of how my health journey goes. Because otherwise, I would like to think I'm a fairly healthy person. I take care of myself. Um, I walk. I go out with the dogs a lot. Um, I am a physically active person. Um, in general, I'm very ADHD. I don't have just the mental. I have the physical part. I have more of the physical part than I think the mental part at times. I got the goes. Um, but in all honesty, I take care of myself. I eat well. I try to do preventative care as much as I can because I know how expensive health and dental can be. Um... I've seen a lot of friends and family members go down the hill because of health. Um, I'm just going to put it out there. Um, if you're struggling, and I know you guys probably don't want to hear this at the end of every video, but I had somebody say they appreciated it. Appreciated it. I can talk. They signed up for their state health insurance and got approved because they didn't even think about it. But if you need health care, dental care, please go to your local state office. See how you can get on a list. See how you can get somebody to help you apply, give you a packet, send it to you in the mail, email it to you, print it out at home. Get it started because somebody like my dad, who is low income, who has never asked for anything in the world from anyone, never received a food stamp, card box, food box, anything in his life, um, got health insurance. And he didn't even know he was eligible until I finally was like, and I'm pushing you off the cliff. Um, so go check it out. What, what does it hurt for them to say no? Oh my gosh, they looked at your income. I hate to tell you they know what your income is <laughs> anyway. We live in the United States. We're all tracked. We ain't free. Um, that's a whole different subject, but if you need a food box, if you need to go sign up for food stamps, I'm on food stamps, I don't care. Do you, boo? You go, you go sign up for that. Even if they gave you a hundred dollars, you're not taking something you don't need if you signed up for it, right? I mean, everybody needs right now. We are all struggling to survive. It's a hard world out there. Everything's so expensive. Sign up. What's the worst you're going to get? A no. No. No sucks. I hate no. The answer no has been a big part of my life, especially as an adult. And even when you're trying your hardest, no sucks. But no is better than not trying at all. So as always, guys, do what you can with what you got. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, by the way, I'm cheering you on over here.